14 women have been put to death since the U.S. Supreme Court allowed capital punishment to resume, in 1976. These are just their names, faces and crimes committed. The first woman executed since the re-establishment of the death penalty, was Velma Barfield. She was convicted of one murder, but she eventually confessed to six murders. Barfield was the first woman to be executed by lethal injection in the U.S. She was executed in North Carolina on November 2, 1984. Carla Faye Tucker, confessed to the pickaxe slayings of two people in June 1983. She was convicted of one of them, and was executed in Texas on February 3, 1998. Judy Buno Ono, was executed for poisoning her Air Force husband with arsenic in 1971, after his return from Vietnam. She also drowned her paralyzed son, tried to blow up her fiancé, and was suspected of killing a boyfriend. She was executed in Florida on March 30, 1998. Betty Lou Beats, was convicted of fatally shooting her fifth husband and burying his body under a flower garden. She was executed in Texas on February 24, 2000. Christina Marie Riggs, a former nurse asked for the death penalty for drugging and suffocating her two children. She got her wish, and was executed in Arkansas on May 2, 2000. Wanda Jean Allen, was convicted of killing a childhood friend, and later murdering a lesbian lover. She was executed in Oklahoma on January 11, 2001. Marilyn K. Plant, was convicted of hiring her teenage boyfriend and his friend to murder her husband. She was executed in Oklahoma on May 1, 2001. Lois Nadian Smith, was convicted in the shooting death of her son's 21-year-old ex-girlfriend. She was executed in Oklahoma on December 2, 2001. Political extremist Linda Lineblock, was convicted of murdering a policeman, on October 4, 1993. She was executed in Alabama on May 10, 2002. Aileen Bornos, was a former prostitute convicted of murdering six clients, though she murdered seven. She was executed by lethal injection in Florida, on October 9, 2002. Frances Newton, was convicted in the fatal shooting of her husband and two children, one with seven, another one with 21 months old. She was executed in Texas on September 14, 2005. Using sex and money, Teresa Lewis persuaded two men to kill her husband and stepson, in a failed effort to gain $250,000 in life insurance proceeds. Lewis was convicted for arranging the killings and was executed in Virginia on September 25, 2010. Kimberly McCarthy was convicted and received lethal injection for the 1997 murder of her neighbor, 71-year-old retired college professor Dorothy Booth, in her Lancaster, Texas home, during a robbery. She was executed in Texas on June 26, 2013. Suzanne Basso, was one of six co-defendants convicted in the August 1998 murder of Louis Buddy Musso, a mentally disabled man who was tortured and murdered for his life insurance money. She was executed in Texas on February 5, 2014. Lisa Ann Coleman was convicted of the July 26, 2004 torture murder of her girl lover's 9-year-old son. The boy was intentionally starved to death. Coleman was executed in Texas on September 17, 2014. Kelly Gisson Daner, had been convicted of orchestrating the February 7, 1997 murder of her husband. She was executed by the state of Georgia on September 30, 2015. In that same time, 1,441 men, have been executed. 